Hey everybody, Healthy Prepper here, carrying on with the adventure of vacuum sealing Mylar bags. But today we're going to be handling this amazing goodie. Um, you can see that there. But basically this is a cupcake mix that I got on special after Halloween and they were marked down to 49 cents. And really cupcakes are just cake mix and they call them cupcakes, but it's the same stuff. Okay, so um, I was asked the question the other day about how to vacuum, oh, quiet. <laughs> vacuum seal loose powdery substances in the Mylar bags um, and not have it all go up into the um, dust buster. I forgot to grab Hang on. All right. Back in action. Okay. Now, I just want to show you what comes in these boxes. And you can do this with, it, it could be any kind of flour, um, potato flake, something like that. But in one of these boxes, yes, isn't that lovely? You can make brain cupcakes. Um, not so much worried about the brain, <laughs> at least the, these brains, maybe my brain. Um, vanilla white cake mix comes inside. And, uh, you know, this package actually gives you like these little skull things. And they have a pack of frosting. So I'm going to pass on the skull wrapping, but I'm going to keep the frosting and the cake mix. Now, um, the good thing about these packages is that the cake mix already comes in a plastic bag. And what I would recommend that you do is poke a tiny hole or two into these plastic bags so that when you insert them in the Mylar bag and the air is drawn out, the extra air that's in these bags will also be drawn out as well. Okay, um, now let's say you have a product, for example, flour or some other mix that d does not come in its own little individual bag. You could always put it in a Ziploc bag and poke a couple holes in the Ziploc bag um, and you could do the same thing. That would also work with the um, potato flakes for mashed potatoes if you're interested in doing that. Okay, so let me get a little poker. Not exactly a little poker, but all you need is a hole in there, so that's fine. Okay. All right. All right. Poked a tiny hole. I'm just going to see how many comfortably fit in here. Three in there. I think I can get all five in there easily. And you can do these separately in separate bags, um, in separate mylar bags, or do them all together. That was a big hole. Okay, though. Uh, it's going to be that easy. And tiny hole in there. You could also put your frosting in there. You could do your frosting separately. Totally up to you. I think I'm going to do my frosting separately because I don't know what I'm going to use it for exactly. It's not going to be the brain cupcakes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, tap that down. Go ahead and add an oxygen absorber. I'm going to use a 300 cc oxygen absorber. I buy these in bulk on eBay or Amazon. Stick that in there. And then what I'm also going to put in there are the directions and the instructions um, of how to do this. Actually the frosting, I'll keep the frosting. Um, you can put these on the outside of the bag or you can tuck them in. And I'm going to tuck them in just because they don't get knocked off that way. And they're always at the ready. And I can just pop them back in the bag if I need to. Okay. So, using this process, I'm going to use the flat iron. I'm going to go ahead and heat seal the end. About seven-eighths of it I'm going to close, leaving an opening so that I can insert my dust buster. 
um, in there. Let's do that very straight. That's okay. Yeah. The bag is uh, very forgiving. If you make a rumple or something, it's okay. Oh, come on, turn this so you can see it. Okay. Now. All right. And hopefully I'm getting a little better at this now. I've done a few more since I packed all my spaghetti up finally. Um, it doesn't even need to be a perfect fit. As long as you get the vacuum seal going in there, uh, vacuum draw, it's going to work. Okay, here we go. So you just seal below your uh, where the, the tube inserts from the dust buster, and then just finish the seal up the top, and there we go, that's it. And you can see that, there's a very good vacuum seal in there. It did suck the air out of the bags inside, which is good, and the oxygen absorber inside will absorb any remaining oxygen in there, so there will be no bug infestations in here. Um, you know, technically you wouldn't even have to, sorry, you wouldn't even have to um, freeze this stuff first to fracture any bug eggs if you really don't want to have any bugs um, because the vacuum will prevent anything from growing inside. So there you go, folks. Um, basically the tip is to put your loose flour or potato flakes or something like that that might get sucked up by your dust buster using this process into a bag, a Ziploc bag or the bag it came in. Just put a little pinhole in uh, the bag and then you can carry on with the same process. Everything should work dandy. Hopefully um, that might be a helpful tip. And uh, take care everybody. Happy and healthy prepping.